Freaking great. I just recorded this entire tutorial and I have to do it all again because I forgot to record my mic and the game audio. Okay. What's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom map in fish game. And it is not as hard as you'd think. People think it's hard. It's really not. Okay. So to start off, you want to hit play. Then you want to hit custom maps. And then you want to hit create. Now that I've joined, you'll see a couple things. You'll see spawn point and build box. We'll get to the build box later. Uh, and spawn point, I don't think I got explained. That's obviously where the player spawns. Okay, so to build, you want to hit both triggers. There we go. Okay, that, that looks great. So uh, now you've built a cube. And um, that's cool. But we can build so much more. So instead of only a cube, well, of course, there's a cube. Then if you hit um, either uh, like it, the buttons next to the joystick on the controller, uh, like B or A or X or Y on your controller, you can actually switch shapes. Um, so what this means is you can um, essentially, th these are the shapes you have. The, okay, so these are all the shapes you have. you have. Okay, so we have the cube, the sphere, the cylinder, the pyramid, and the torus. Now, with all of these, you can build just about anything. So, you might have just noticed me deleting, and I do this by pressing grip on either controller. I get this sphere, and then I can punch it out of existence. Um, now, be careful with this, because um, there is no undo or redo button yet. I will add that soon. Um, so, if you delete something, and it was on accident, well, tough luck. Uh, you you should probably go back to your previous save or something. Okay, so to start off with, we'll build a sandcastle. So, I'm gonna start off by making a tower. Now, a thing you can do in fish game is if you pull out your um, fish pad by pressing grip and then pulling from behind your back, you can pull out the fish pad and then if you press the sandbox button and then press snap, then um, you can snap objects into place. You will notice that I do start falling down um, because of gravity, of course, but how you can counteract this is just building a small platform that you can stand on while you're building. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep building this sandcastle. Okay, so I can do that, that, and that. Or I can delete these and then I can actually use the edit feature on the fish pad. So you press this, and then if you point at an object, you'll get a laser. Now, if I click this object and click again, then I can move it. I can also scale it to my liking, um, like that. Um, but what what's really interesting is if you press the top button, the same one you used to point, you can actually clone it. So this adds so many more possibilities because you can essentially just build anything really quickly because you only have to build it once and then you can just clone it um so i'm gonna i'm gonna say that looks like a pretty all right tower and then i can also select all of these and then i can actually clone this there we go look at that so now we have this which is already great and then I can select all of these again, and then I can clone it around, um, like, like so. Now I can see that, uh, I've obviously done something wrong, but it's probably fine. Alright, great, so now I select this again, and now I will use the scale tool, scale up. So, as you can see, made this bigger, and I'm gonna enclose the spawn. So, here we go. Lovely. Now I have this big sandcastle. And, um, not very, very straight sandcastle, but that's probably fine. Now, this looks good and all, but it's a bit basic to only have sand. So, what you can do is you can select something else, and then, um... So you can, you can select another material and then change the color. So I'm going to have um, bricks with the wood. So this looks like planks, right? 
So I'm gonna turn on the snap feature and then I'm gonna snap it to the floor. So then I can press edit and then scale this up. So now you can already see that this is this is capable of uh, filling the entire floor. So that's really great um, because it'll, it's cool. <laughs> so here we see, got the entire floor. And um, yeah, okay, so now this doesn't really fit with all of this castle stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remake the castle, but with bricks instead. Okay, so these towers, like, are not symmetrical one bit, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the point is that you learn how to build some. So, okay, this thing is leaning. There we go. Um, so, already, this is a pretty nice map, and, um, of course, I could upload this already, but I want to add some more stuff. So, first of all, I want to open this up, um, to the outside world. Now, I think... A thing I really don't like is when you can see this sand floor. So that's why I've made this grass. I made this using snap to make sure it's level with the ground. And you can see that tower is a bit wonky, but it's it's honestly fine. Uh, now I'm going to make a sky. Okay, so here we can see my map. And um, of course, I can make some trees as well. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And uh, this is a pretty lovely tree already, so I'm just gonna scale the the stem up a bit more, and then I'm gonna oh whoops forgot a part of the tree. There we go. Now I can place this tree around. So I'm gonna place one here, and one here. I can place one coming out of this as well. You're not like you're not really supposed to have the build box in view. But you can, and uh, you can incorporate it into the map however you feel. It is your map, so you decide what's there, as long as it follows the rules of the game. Here we go, great. Now, just before we're completely finished, I'm just gonna move the skybox over a bit. And uh, there we go. Yeah, okay. All right, so I've finished my map, and this is how it's looking. Um, out here, we have the outside area, and uh, we have a sky. Uh, so, yeah, this looks really cool. Now, remember, my number one building tip is have your map enclosed, because if you can look, if you look, like, outside of this map, we'll have the default stuff. And that just doesn't, like, fit very nicely into your map if you if you've, like, Spent a lot of time on your map and it's super detailed and then it's just the default skybox outside. That looks a bit strange. So build your own skybox and your own floor. That's like my number one tip. Um, so this is a super simple map and it's just designed to show you the ropes. Um, now I'm going to teach you how to publish it. So to publish it, you go over here to the build box. If you just press publish, it'll tell you to take a picture first. So I'm going to take a picture. Great, so I'm just gonna have it like this. Boosh. Okay, so that's that's that. Um, so now I have to find a name for my map. So if I press publish, I need to um, have a name for the map. So I'm gonna call this ca Castle Castle Clash. Castle Clash. So this is Castle Clash. And um, so, so I've named my map uh, Castle Clash. And now if I press publish, now, if I press publish, you'll see uh, this starting to load and then just give it a few seconds. There we go. Now it's published. So now I'm in a public version of the map. You can see can't build. The spawn point is gone. Can't see it. And this says not in creation mode. So now all of you can go play it. Now, if you've already published your map or drafted your map, you might be wondering how to edit it because, of course, you can edit your maps after drafting or publishing it. So what you do is you press play and then custom maps. Now already see, we can see here Castle Clash, it's already there. If I press this, I'll just go into a normal version of the game. And that's not really what I wanna do. I wanna uh, edit it. So I could of course just play the map and then I'd be in there normally. But what I wanna hit is my maps. Now once we're in here, we can see all of the maps I've made. 
but what we want to look at is castle clash so i'm gonna i can of course delete it but that's not a good idea so i'm gonna hit no i don't want to delete it i want to just press it and i'll be taken into a private room where i can edit it so now i'm in here again and i can do whatever i want and uh, you can see i can uh, uh i can see everything here and everything is just where i left it so now i can add something new if i want to all right so i've decided to add this small campfire to my map and as you can see it has seats it has flame and it's super cool um so yeah i've added this after i actually released the map and now i can hit uh, publish again to publish the map so everybody can play all right so that's the basics on how you build a map now in my map castle clash i've added a small secret and i'd like to see if any of you can find it so if you if you found it you can uh, post it you can post about it on the discord if you have any questions or you need help with building you can also ask on the discord or in the comments on this video Remember to subscribe and also download Fish Game.